Hello guys, welcome to Filament Daily. We continue reviewing the Cachette Filament dashboard by James Brooks and topic of the day is toggle buttons with PHP enums. Let me show you how it works. So for example, in one of the forms in edit component group, for example, there's a table and you click edit and you see these buttons. And this is an example where in your model you have some kind of select for a few options, but you don't necessarily want to have a separate database table and a foreign key, like in this case. Component group is visible or not, and it's not a boolean, it's visible to users, guests, or always hidden. Also collapsed, expanded, always collapsed, and the third option. And in the code, I found this. So in the component group resource, in the form schema, we have two toggle buttons. And look how seamless it is to use enum classes for options. It's very readable. Toggle buttons, options with enum class, and I will show you that in a minute, and then you set the default one of the options of that enum. And similarly, another toggle button. So this is the code now in my PHP storm, and let's take a look inside what is that enum in PHP. So as you can see, cases, to be honest, I don't often see them in lowercase, so I would probably change that, but still works. So as you can see, we use one of those cases, one of the options as default in the form. But that's not the main benefit of using those in filament. In the enum class, as you can see, it implements has color, has icon, and has label. And look at some of the methods down below. Get icon, we assign the icon to every value, also label to every value, and also color. Now look what happens visually in that form. We open that form, guess, and hidden, look at the color. And the icons are also different. So these are not that different, but look what happens in the component. So another example of enum classes is in the same component group resource, it uses component relation manager. So down below, we can add new component and one of the fields is status. And if we click around various options, as you can see, colors are different. So for that, we have another enum component status enum with different values, but also get label, get icon, and get color. And as you can see on the left side, there are a lot of enums in the Skashet project in various filament resources. And also you can use that as filters in the table. For example, there's a menu item called incidents and every incident has status and visibility. And as you can see, the icons and the colors are here as well in the table automatically. In the table of that resource, we don't specify anything specifically. So there's make status, make visible with badge, and then the color and the icon is resolved automatically. But then if we scroll down a bit, we have select filter with options from another enum class. So we can click filter, and then one of the filters is status with all those values in the dropdown. So this is another way to reuse the enum class in filament. So again, filter, option, and we can click and see what's inside of that enum, but the structure is the same. Get label, get icon, get color, and the values here on top. So I really, really like that structure, and in general, I really like the patterns. If the pattern of some structure is repeated all over the project, it makes it much easier for others to understand the repeating parts and how to use them in other filament resources. And toggle buttons is a very good example of filament reusing the PHP structure, Laravel benefits with colors and icons and different options. You can read about that in the docs. So yeah, this is the demo of filament cachette with toggle buttons. If you want more filament examples, head to filamentexamples.com where we have a lot more of more complex and more simple projects with filament with different forms and inputs. That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.